Hey guys, Rock and Blade here once again. Sorry if I haven't seen me make a video in a while. This oh man, I think I caught the bu a bug or something because I feel like doo doo, like real real doo doo. <laughs> it's been like just just been bad and stuff. But I'm I'm getting a little bit better, thank God. It's nothing too serious. Right now I'm in the bathroom in my house, so everything's all okay. Kind of spinning the camera. Excuse me. All right. Well, it's better late than never. But um, I saw the movie um, I think last Sunday. Um, so let's, here my, here's my review of Ant-Man the movie. Um, how was it? Fantastic. Fan, fan, fantastic. Alright, I'm gonna get the plot synopsis as best as possible. And of course this video, as always, will contain little to no spoilers as possible. Um, basically, you follow a guy named Scott Lang, who, in my opinion, I think everyone else is, is probably the most relatable Marvel character thus far in this, in the, in the Marvel Universe films. Because, you know, I, you can't, you know, I mean, you can't really relate to these characters. I mean, you can, but you, you admire them. Like, Iron Man, you know, a.k.a. Tony Stark, the billionaire, playboy, for philanthropist, um, Thor, the, the the god of thunder, you know, Captain America, the super soldier, the guy that led to the, the world, that led to victory to World War II and stuff, and, um, the Incredible Hulk, who, um, who's, you know, with, um, Bruce Banner being a genius when he's not Bruce Banner and Hulk, and having incredible strength when he is the Hulk. So, but here, you know, he's just a regular guy trying to do his job. Okay, what he did was, um, he pulled up a, um, he pulled like a high, he did like a, a heist off, and, um, kind of, but, um, but it was kind of a, it was a normal thing he did. It wasn't anything bad. Actually, what he did was actually good, but in the eyes of, a, but in the eyes of the law, what he did was bad. So he had to go to jail for like three years. So since then, he's been struggling, trying to get to work. He, um, trying to find work, and of course, the jobs he was going to, he got fired from because, you know, he lied in his application. And, you know, he's getting desperate because he wants to see his girlfriend, you know, he wants to see his daughter. They don't want to let him see his daughter and stuff. You know, so he gets straightened up and get a job and stuff. So he, he wants to see his daughter, so he's willing to do anything. So, you know, the job thing's working out. He's, he's with these guys, I guess, you know, his highest buddies. Come on, man, let's do some stuff. He doesn't want to do it. He wants to be the straight and narrow, fix his life up, and, you know, just, you know, be there for his daughter, you know, you know, three years, you know, in, in, in prison like that, give you a lot, of, or jail, or if you want to, give you a lot of time to think about your life, so he wants to be part of his daughter's life, um, so then, um, things get bad to the point where he has no choice but to do it, but then, um, it goes bad, and then, um, was it, um, Hank Pym, who was, um, you know, the original Ant-Man, was watching Scott for a while now, and he feels he has the potential to be greater than what he's doing right now. So he goes to them, makes them offer to join him, and then, um, of course, it's more complicated scene than I'm, I'm skipping things here and there. There's more to it, there's, there's more things happening in between, but you get my point. He goes to him, like in the trailer, this baby's talking about what happened in the trailer. He goes to him, and he, of course, um, he agrees, and he trains him to become the new Ant Man and stop, uh, the Yellow Jacket guy from releasing the, his, um, prototype weapon to the world. You know? So, um, it's really, it's cool how he, he trains with the ants, and that very first scene when he shrinks, and he's shrinking out. That's incredible. Also, the, you know the different ants. There's there's the bullet ant, and these little small ants. There's different ants. I can't remember all of them. The only one I remember was the bullet ant because that stuck out the most. Got a pretty cool name. Um, there's these different ants out there um, to help you out. One, there's ones that can fly. There's ones that can use to like conduct electricity with their gadgets. You, you know, you can he ride some of them, and it was it was really cool. Plus, um. He had like a cool. He actually interact. He interacted with an Avenger. Um, I won't say who. Though you see the trailer, it's obvious. But if you haven't seen the trailer, and don't know who he interacted with. He gets like a little, a little scuffle with, with, with an Avenger. I won't say what happens though, or who, or who, 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 it, who it was. But trust me, it was a cool. It was a cool, cool moment in, in the film for sure. And overall, it was a, overall, it was a fantastic, fantastic film. A must watch. This you know, down earth character. Try to, you know, better himself. And here he is, this guy, Hank, trying to, like, help him out. And, um, also the, his, Hank's daughter, I forget, I forget her name. Um, she was also fantastic. She's that tough, strong woman. In fact, she was training Scott how to fight. So that way he can, when he used the ant suit, he knows how to properly, you know, how to properly, you know, kick butt and stuff. Um, she was also, it's also fantastic. And, um, so, yeah, and of course the main villain, um, though he's a typical everyday villain, you've seen before, but he was, he was a good villain, though, you know what I'm saying, 
he wasn't bad. He's just that typical everyday villain you've seen before in, in other, like, superhero films or films in general. But he wasn't bad. He was good at, at, at his job. Also, um, also his companions. Um, I, I remember one of them. One of them is that played that crazy guy, one of that crazy cop in the Dark Knight movie. That, um, that was his name, uh, Harley, uh, not Harley, but, um, Harvey, Harvey Dent, had a gun to his head, um, to tell him, tell him where's, you know, what will happen and stuff, and the guy said, I don't know, yeah, that guy, he's in the movie, also, T.I.'s in the movie, too, and also, Michael Peña, um, you ain't at home, me at home from, uh, End of Watch, with, um, Jake Gyllenhaal, I believe his name is, who's, who's also in Southpaw, which, I haven't seen that movie yet, but hurts pretty good, anyway, Michael Peña, is like the funniest character in that movie. Everyone's when I was reading the early reviews, everyone's saying, "Oh my god, he's so funny!" You know, he steals the show, and I, um, and at times he does. He's surprisingly real funny, kicks some ass, and he was just real funny in that movie. I really liked him. I hope he's in. I hope he's in future Ant Man movies. I hope those those people are in future Ant Man movies together because they have great chemistry together, and I hope um they work together in the future together because that's um. That's something I'll have to see for sure. They have, they have great chemistry. I love the team. And, um, all of that, um, Hank and, um, Scott have a great chemistry as well, you know. He, you know, he treats him like the son he never had. And, you know, the mentor, you know, or the father, I guess, country like the father he never had. So, um, they that good chemistry and stuff. So, overall, it was a great film. The action was fantastic. The effects were amazing. Um, and, and, yeah, and um, there's a post and after credits this time. It's not like the Avengers 2 where there's none. This time there is an after credits scene. Again, I won't spoil, but um, but definitely stay after the theater for sure to check it out. All right, so overall, I give it four stars. Um, it's nearly perfect. I said the, the villains cliched, and um, and the threat's not as big as was in Age of Ultron. It doesn't have to be, but those are like the, the only things I could think of that were uh, bad. Other than that, everything else is fantastic. I already mean, sat there and said, "Wow, I'm really enjoying myself." For one of the lesser known characters, they really put a spotlight on him, and I like that. And, um, it's really cool that, he, you know, now Ant-Man is his own movie, and now we get to know, know now we know better who Ant-Man is, and now we know, I, you know, I, I love the movie so much, I got the figure in my house, which, um, I'll probably show you guys, I'll probably do, like, a little, like, a little, like, review of showing all, all my collectibles, and yeah, I got it, I loved it so much, I went and bought an, uh, an Ant-Man and Lost figure, because I loved the, the movie so much, but, um, it's definitely worth the watch, definitely a great, uh, movie, and the Marvel's, Marvel's killing it. Marvel's killing it for sure. I mean, Marvel's, <laughs> they're hitting home runs like, 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 it's coming out of style, I'll tell you what. But DC, look out for DC though. They're striking back hard next year for sure with Batman vs. Superman and the Suicide Squad. So look out for those. Alright. But overall, great movie. Definitely check it out. It's worth your money. Absolutely. Um, this is Rocket Blade signing out. Hope to hear from you guys again real soon.